Hello my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge. I finally got away from the oven, this time actually baking Christmas cookies, to finish my journal. And this is a very grungy, primitive, vintage journal that I made with wax. I was, um, this was inspired by Sagita, Angie Bunner, Jenny Miller, and um, just a lot of the girls on Junk Journal Junkies. There's a little of everybody in here. I um, tied it with twine. Books, the uh, back and front are chipboard. Now what I did with the front is it is this is hand dipped in paraffin wax. And then I covered it with Mod Podge. Let's see if I can get rid of that shadow. Maybe not. Well, anyway. So, uh, the back has um, a lot of sewing in this. Scripts, Mod Podge, there's um, cheesecloth, there's material. It's a little flower with the little clips from Denise's shop. Um, there's seam binding. Uh, there's 20 pages, so you have 40 back and front. This will be listed in my Etsy shop. And we are going to go right into it. Now what I've done to all the pages, all the pages have been sewn and doubled. And each page I sew, I... Um, I had the holes punched, but then I sewed a piece of muslin on every page to strengthen it. I, I like the look better. And as far as the beeswax, I bought the cutest little thing in Marshalls the other day. It's this tiny, tiny little iron. It was $6. I was so excited. I was never excited to buy an iron. But I used this to apply the beeswax along with... These are the Stackage Pure Beeswax Yellow Pellets, and I bought the white ones. And these are really fun to play with. So, what I did is I did a lot of stamping. This is corrugated. I had a little corrugated machine or handheld thing that I made tags with. A lot of little booklets. Some have... Um, I watched Jenny's um, video and it's not feasible to do a whole book full of wax. So I just did little bits and pieces here and there. This is Tsunami Rose, Tsunami Rose, uh, Dreams, etc. And then I just did a lot of, like I said, every page has sewing, little tags, tags with a tuck spot. There's tags with guest check and a little Martha Stewart punch and here is a pocket with a lot of wax cloth underneath it and just all little little bling and the little fibers and I have some paper uh, glossy accent the fly flowers there and then Behind the piece of material, there's also a little pocket, so I made a little envelope, and that tucks in there. Here is a little envelope, or I'm sorry, a little bag that the tsunami rose, little tuck spot. I get another little banner. I did a lot of little banners in here. I get another little journal spot, tsunami rose. Here's my Tiffany stamp. I finally found it. So I did. I went crazy with stamping it on fabric and papers. And here's just this ephemera I've had. Some of it I think is Artie Mays. And this is just tracing paper. And here I made two little pockets. These have been beeswax. And you can see they're a little translucent. 
So they're real cool how they come out. Another little guest check. More fabric that I just pinned. I love these little pins. Just more little tickets. It's an envelope that I glued down here and I just filled it. A tsunami rose, some guest checks. These are all glued down. So uh, you can write on that and you can maybe hide things back there. And then another little one of my flower, or a flower, and tsunami rose. Here's just some paper that I cut and coffee dyed. And some seam binding, just a little tag. And again, just a little banner with a little, little, oops, tiny glassine bag to hide something. Little bling cheesecloth. Um, another little packet with a little paper, a little ticket. And here's handmade is best. And some ephemera. And then again the tickets I beeswax, so they're a little translucent. And then I sewed some material on here as the page flipper. And that off sticks in here. And another little banner with some ephemera. Lots of lace and pearls. Style vintage. That's a stamp that was on Beth Whalen's video from Angie Bunner. And I will put a link below of the name of that company. This is Dreams Etc. This is some layering, a little tuck spot. And then here is some paper that's heavily um, inked with rustic or rusty hinge, I think orange or spice marmalade. And then there's some tags. And then another piece of paper just to break it up a little. And here's some lace. This has been um, beeswaxed a little with another little booklet and some tracing paper underneath that. Um, this is Defining Moments. I just sold in there a little book. And a little tiny envelope with some paper in there. This is Artie Mays, I think. Here's another corner tuck with some tracing paper, coffee dye, with some pink seam binding, another little piece from my stash. Um, this has been a little waxed with the banner and then this was just a um, oh, envelope pun or an envelope embossing envelope with the snowflakes. Again these pages are thick because they're all doubled. So a packet with a little more little wax and we have some ephemera. We have um, a little, another little bag with tickets, another rose. And I love how those came out. They're just so translucent. Another little ticket. There's more tickets. It's a side punch. This is Dreams, etc. It's a um, glitter mist with a brick um, stencil is there and then a little bag with the honeycomb on it and then there's this some paper guest check I think yep a little guest check this is really really fun to do but it did take a long time but you can add to it that's what I also liked this is all tsunami rose I just left that just like that. You could take out the picture, put another picture in if you wanted to. It's a little packet with some tickets. You could write things on or stick some paper in there. This is, she was um, beeswaxed, sewn on a piece of muslin. This is just some lace I had, um, a tag with some script writing on. And this is a piece of cheesecloth with some lace, 
some white trim tsunami rose flower that I layered and I put the beeswax pellet on it pellets and I just glued it on there with a little flower or a little bowl another page just corner punch a little booklet tsunami rose envelope and tuck spot with a piece of tracing paper coffee dye just a little plain tag and it just slips under there tsunami rose envelope where they put actually just a white uh, glassine bag that's been coffee dyed if you wanted to use it somewhere here is a little banner i made i layered with cheesecloth there's some um the yellow wax underneath it and then i just made another pocket with some tickets and you can journal front and back and a half page that was another stamp quality buttons there yeah, i just put some uh believe i just printed that out on the computer with a flower this is a very this is a piece of muslin that was dipped in paraffin and i sewed some trim on it this is maybe a bookmark or something you can use it or it's very um you can tuck things in there this is an envelope from tsunami rose i just tucked in there to tuck in there i love the smell of the wax Actually, I left a, I forgot to leave anything plain. So this is a plain page. This is just, um, I layered some, actually this is all tsunami rose with some, no wax on this, just a little cheesecloth and then some tags I made. And it was tsunami rose, little tuck spot there. Get it all tucked back in there. And then the last page is just a tuck spot with, um, these are both that new stamp set that I had. I think it was button, vintage button. And then just some tags that I, I made and stuff in there. So thank you very much for watching. This is very fun. If you haven't played with, oh, and just the back was, um, little beeswax on the seam binding with cheesecloth. If you haven't played with um, beeswax, I encourage you to try that. Maybe at the beginning of the year. It's fun. It's definitely not for every page. But it's really fun and it has a um, really cool effect to it. So thanks for watching. Merry Christmas to all. And keep crafting. Bye.